All right, will we enjoy the rest of the items in this box? Yes or no? Oh, Ooh. oh my gosh. <laughs> so this is so exciting. No. <gasps> what? Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome if you are new. Today I have a really exciting video for you guys. I'm gonna be doing an unboxing and I'm gonna be doing a, a wizarding trunk unboxing. I'm so excited to do this one for you guys. So let's go ahead and get into the video. <laughs> So this is the first time that I've unboxed a subscription box on this channel, and I'm really excited to unbox this one. I've never received a wizarding trunk box before. I've bought plenty of subscription boxes in the past before I started filming. I've done Lit Joy Cray, I've done the Accio box, and I've also done the Geek Gear Wizardry box before, but this will be the first time that I've gotten the wizarding trunk box. I know they're somewhat a newer subscription box. That's probably why I've never tried them before in the past. Some of the other ones have been out for years and I think that they're fairly within their first year of running. Don't quote me on that, but I believe so. And for full transparency, I wanna let you guys know that I bought this with my own money, my own galleons and sickles, all of my own green got coins were spent on this box. So I am really excited to open this up. I forget what the theme was. I guess we'll figure it out as we go. I really wanna say it was divinations, but that could be the next month's box. So this is the month of April. So let's go ahead and get it open. I've got my trusty box cutter here. All right, so let's go ahead and open the box. I will give you guys a little sneak peek first so you can see what is inside. What is in it? Can you see anything? Oh, I don't know if you saw too much. <laughs> All right, so let me get this situated. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so this is so exciting. Okay, so I'm really excited. Okay, at first, <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> I can't even talk. Okay, so first we have this sheet here. I don't want to look at the back of it, but I think that this is the spoiler card, the cheat sheet, the information card, whatever you want to call it. That is it. I don't want to see what's behind it. I think I'm holding it upside down. So this is that little artwork. Let me take a look at it. So it says, yes, maybe, rephrase, no, maybe. So, so that kind of reminds me of like one of those eight balls if you shake it up and then give you those kind of answers. So I'm pretty sure that this is divination. So like a prophecy kind of theme is what I'm getting at. <gasps> the next item is super exciting. It's a wearable. I don't remember giving my size. Did I? I must have. Okay, anyways. Let's just take the t-shirt out. What's on it? You guys are getting a peek at it first. So it says Warlocks Convention. So this would be a shirt that you would get at a Warlocks Convention. That's funny. And this is in year 1709. That is interesting. I've never seen this before. This is definitely something that doesn't scream Harry Potter. So what size did I end up going with? So I went with a medium. So this is the size medium that I went with. It looks like it's like a unisex medium, so I probably kind of got away with a small. It looks like it's gonna be a little bit big on me, but that's okay, I can always tuck it in to something. So that is going to be the first item. That's cool, that's something so different. <laughs> so that is the Warlocks Convention shirt. So it's a very unique design. I don't think I would personally go for this shirt if I saw it at like say a universal store or something like that. And I'm not particularly someone that gravitates to something that has to be like super showy Harry Potter, but a little more of a hint to it. Like I don't remember anyone going to a Warlocks convention. That's the only reason why this is not my absolute favorite t-shirt, but it is a decent shirt. I like the artwork on it. All right, next I have a couple boxes that I can see on top. So let's go ahead and do this little brown box and see what's inside. Oh, it's a little mug or a teacup. Cause you know, in divinations, you read the tea leaves after you drink your tea and see what your prophecy is going to be. Oh my gosh. I am in love with this little teacup. You have the grim. <laughs> this is so cute it's perfect oh, it really looks like the leftovers from your tea even though it's really just painted on there oh, and the artwork on the outside it's in that blue teacup oh my gosh i'm seriously in love with this thing oh my gosh 
this is like my favorite item so far and I've only unboxed two things. I know that I'm getting ahead of myself, but I'm in love with this teacup. This is totally going on my shelves back there. <laughs> that was so exciting. Okay, next. All right, should I go for another box or should I go for a bag? This white box is like totally shouting my name. It's really heavy. Oh my gosh. I don't know what's in here. Probably should stop shaking it around, but let me open it for you guys. What is it? All nice and packaged. It's not. It is. It's a prophecy. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's a prophecy. Is that a werewolf inside? What? Can you guys see that? Oh, holy crap, this is so cool. What? Oh, that is so cool. Oh my gosh, and it's like heavy glass ball. Like here, can you hear that? <laughs> it's definitely glass, it's not plastic. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, the face inside. Okay, so. I'm trying to put the box behind here so you can see it inside, but the face inside it is honestly terrifying. Like I wouldn't want to see this, what is it, a werewolf maybe? Or I can't tell if it would be Sirius Black as a dog or if it's a werewolf, but I guess we'll see in the spoiler card. It's still a really cool, unique item. Like I've, what? I just, I'm so amazed, but it's just kind of scary to look at it. <laughs> But that is item number three. We're only on item number three and I'm super impressed with the first three items. I also wanna mention the price point for this box. So the box retails for $55 and I live in Florida. So the shipping for me was $10. I can't guarantee that that's the shipping everywhere, but that's what I paid for shipping. So this box for me came to a grand total of $65. And so far with the first three items, I am pretty impressed. I'm not sure if I've got my $60 worth yet, but let's keep going. There's still plenty of items inside. <gasps> okay, so I'm gonna go for this little item right here on top. What is it? Is that a pin? <gasps> it's a pin. It's a big pin. What is it? Oh, that's cool. So I know for this box, there's two themes and these themes are going around some of the magical classes at Hogwarts. So I believe that this is going to be the second theme and this is History of Magic. So this is Professor Binns teaching about the 18th century Goblin Rebellion. So that is him and, and as we know, Professor Binns is a ghost so that's why he's shown in this gray color. And that is his classroom behind him with the chalkboard that reads 18th century Goblin Rebellion. That is a really nice good quality pin and this is a big size like like look at it in reference to the size of my palm on my hand like it's got two pins on the back here so it's going to help hold it up it definitely needs it because this is a heavy pin and it shows here on the backer card that this is a wizarding trunk exclusive pin so they make their pins in-house which i think is really nice this is a very nice good quality pin i'm very impressed with this all right, next, we still have a lot of items it looks like in here. So I see this really pretty velvet purple bag and I need to know what's inside it. <gasps> what could it be? So we've got history of magic and divinations. I don't know what it could be. <gasps> oh, I was thinking maybe a coin, but it didn't make sense. <gasps> so this has to do with divination. On this side, it says no, and on this side, it says yes. So like if you were to flip a coin, heads or tails, so I'm guessing you would ask it a yes or no question, flip it, and see what your answer is going to be. Should we ask it a question right now? I think we should. All right, will we enjoy the rest of the items in this box? Yes or no? Oh. <laughs> Let's see. No. <laughs> well, the coin has spoken. <laughs> I'm not sure how accurate it is because I mean I love all the items so far I don't know if the rest of the items are flops but that was the question we asked it so maybe the coin has spoken <laughs> no
no, I think I'm gonna really enjoy some of the next items because I'm so impressed so far. So let's go ahead and see if that prediction is correct. <laughs> next, we have another box. This is a tiny little white box here. So let's open her up and see what's inside it. What is it? Oh! But this is something that you can put the prophecy on to display it. I'm so happy that it came with one of these. I've gotten a crystal ball in a past subscription box before. I got it from Lit Joy Crate, and they also came with one of these stands to display it on. So I'm really happy that this one came with one. So now I can put it on my shelf. So it just sits in here like so, and you can keep it on a table or desk or bookshelf and it won't roll away <laughs> so that is really nice i'm so happy that it came with that and i'm also happy that it's metal so it seems like it's going to be good quality and it will last you a long time and it's definitely going to hold this crystal ball so i could display it back there on my bookshelves all right it seems like we still have a lot of items so we have a big brown box right here and it seems pretty heavy. I think I'm going to hold this off until about last. I want to see if we have some more smaller items to go through first. Let's see what this next one in this packaging is. It's a potion. I'm going to get this noisy crinkly wrapper off first. Okay so it also is wrapped up in some more plastic to keep it from spilling. So let me get that off and then I will show you the grand reveal of this potion. All right I got it out of the noisy wrapping that it was in and it is a body oil I think because it's kind of greasy on the outside. They had it wrapped up about three times which I can totally understand why. I am glad that they wrapped it up that way so this oil didn't get on any other product. I can completely understand how that can happen and no fault to them they did try to wrap it up and package it as best as possible but this says the inner eye self-awareness and emotional healing oil ingredients include quartz crystal infused rice bran i think that says rice bran <laughs> oil with essential oils of patchouli lemongrass lavender orange pine and musk so there's a lot going on in there, but let me give you a closer look of this bottle. So this is the gorgeous label. I'm really digging the label on here. And then this is the potion or body oil inside. And it has those crystals that it said it had on the label. And those are just kind of on the bottom here. And I think that that's a nice touch to add. So let's go ahead and give it a sniff and see if we like the scent as well. So I'm not picking up a particularly strong scent. I can smell the patchouli and a little bit of lavender, but I'm not really getting a whole lot of the other scents. It's very greasy as well. I mean, that's how body oils are. Like, it's kind of all over the bottle. I'm gonna go ahead and put some on my arm. So it feels really nice. I don't know if I need shaken. Let me shake it up a little bit give it a full chance if I, before I say if I do or don't like it. Yeah, it just really doesn't have a whole lot of scent going on. I wish they added some more essential oils or something because I would prefer more of a scent. It's almost unscented, I would say. So I mean, I don't hate it, but I don't know if I'm going to actually use it. I might just clean it up a little bit more and display it by my potion shelf. So I do like that that is an option. So maybe you're someone who's a little sensitive to some body products and you're not going to use it anyways. They still package it really cute so you can display it. But if you wanted to use it and you do enjoy the body oil, you have that option as well. And after you use all the oil, you could refill it even with something else because it's a nice glass bottle and it has gorgeous packaging. So that is also an option. I do think it's super cute. All right, let's go ahead and pick out another item. So there's a little box in here, a little green box. What is this? This says the Green Witch Tarot. Oh, they're tarot cards. So I'm definitely not very divination savvy, but this is the cards here. All right, so it just says on the front here, the Green Witch, Green Witch on both sides, and then nothing on the back. So let's take out some cards and see what our future holds. Is that how that works? <laughs> All right. Oh, interesting. There's the green man, the king of wands. All right, so let me give you a little peek at what these cards look like. The artwork on here is really nice. So just shuffling through so you can kind of see what is included in here. 
I have no idea how these cards work. I think you like shuffle them around and then you flip them over and you can see what your future holds. <laughs> I know, I really am not sure. I'm just not educated on these type of cards, but I'm sure some of you may be and you might be able to tell if these are good or not, but I think that the novelty of them is pretty cool. So I think that that's cool that they included it and it definitely goes with the divination theme. It doesn't really scream Harry Potter to me. There are some like wand options in here, I guess is what you would call it. But that's going to be the green witches cards. All right, so it looks like we only have a couple more items in here. Let's see, oh, there's a little guy. What is this? Some kind of crystal. So this is what the next item is. It's this crystal and it's gorgeous. It has this really pretty like pink smoky color inside with some gold flakes and it's on this nice silver chain with this little charm at the bottom so i don't know exactly what this is for maybe the spoiler card will give us some more information i've seen something like this in a movie before where they held it over a pregnant woman's belly and if it went in a circle they were like having a boy i think and then if it went back and forth they were having a girl or it was the other way. So I'm pretty sure that this has something to do with divination, but this is really gorgeous. And it's not an actual crystal. It feels more like it's a resin encapsulated item. It's definitely not a crystal or anything like that, but it still looks really nice. I think that they did a good job with it, but we'll see more information hopefully on the spoiler card. All right, next we have this little paper replica it looks like. Whirlux convention. So we've got our pamphlet to the convention. All right, so this pamphlet says, according to wizard law? Yeah, according to wizard law and traditions, decisions made at the convention by popular vote are final and may be amended unless disputed in Supreme Wizard Court. I think I read that right. I'm not 100% sure. Over here it says, order of business, dragon breeding restrictions, trade Categorization of magical creatures, ban on experimental breeding, non-human one restrictions, revisit class A and C non-tradable materials, flying carpet embargo, establishing communication with non-magical authority, magical use and age restrictions. So this is the front of the pamphlet, here's the back, and then this is the inside. So this is just like a paper replica to go with that t-shirt that I showed in the beginning. So you got your souvenir t-shirt and you got your pamphlet that you got to prove that you went to this convention. So that's a cool item that they included together at least. All right, next we have, I think, one of the last items. So we only have two more items left. We have this, which is a print, and then we have this box that's kind of heavy and big. So I think we'll go over the print and then we'll go and see what's in this big box. <laughs> so it's just in this little tube to keep it safe. Let's see. Oh, these are book covers. Yes, I remember. So the Wizarding Trunk is doing a series in all of their subscription boxes where they're including a cover for all the American version of the hardcover Harry Potter books. They're doing these dust jackets that you can put over them. So this one is a divination theme. So it looks like there's a centaur here with some flames. It has this really gorgeous red foiling. So I know that Danny from Muggle Magic is designing these. He designed some for the Accio box as well. And I have some of those on my bookshelf. If you haven't seen my bookshelf tour, check it out. I show all the other books that I got from that series that he did with the Accio box. And this one is not 100% my style, so I probably won't replace the one that I have on my book currently because I don't have a second set of my Harry Potter books. I actually had to buy those card covers off of eBay because the books that I originally read off of are the paperback ones. So if you are getting these boxes and you don't have them, eBay is a great place to check out because you're gonna cover it anyway, so you might as well buy some of those books inexpensive just so you can display them. And you can also frame them too because they are gorgeous. So I'll probably just keep this one to the side if I ever want to change it out for my other one. Maybe I'll pop it on my book just so I can show you guys how it's supposed to look. All right, so we have one last item here and it's this big box, you know, big box for Ron. <laughs> Let's go ahead and open it up. Ah, struggling. Ooh, ooh, 
wrapped in purple tissue. What could it be? I seriously have no idea. It's so heavy, but it also feels soft. That doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> um, probably doesn't make sense to you because it doesn't make sense to me, but let's take it out of this. What? No. <gasps> what? Guys, let me take this out of this wrapping. Um, um, this is gorgeous. <laughs> this is a potion bottle and it is gorgeous, guys. <laughs> I keep seeing it. Oh my gosh. This is gorgeous. Do you see this? This is a Weasley Wizards Wheezes potion bottle. Look at their little logo and detail that they put on top. Um, that's amazing. And I like that they sealed it with wax and it's a purple wax. My wax looks like it got a little bit messed up, but I'm totally fine with that. And it even has a little purple twine around it. This is a gorgeous potion bottle. This is probably my best potion bottle I'm going to have displayed on my shelf. I'm seriously impressed with this. This is a nice glass bottle and it has this gorgeous label on here. And then the back is this really dreamy, shimmery orange color. Like, do you guys see that? That is amazing. How gorgeous. I keep calling this dreamy and this, <laughs> that's too funny. And this is Daydream Potion. They nailed this one on the head. They knocked it out of the park. All those expressions, like, I am seriously impressed with this potion bottle. This is amazing. This is gorgeous. I would pay some good money for this bottle. So I am really happy that it came in this subscription box. And that was definitely a great final item to unbox for you guys. So that was the final item. I'm going to show you a couple of my favorites and I'll talk about some of my least favorites. So I definitely have two favorites from this box that I am super happy that I received. And that would be this potion bottle and this divination tea leaf cup with the grim inside. I just think that these are just some two amazing products. I would go out of my way to purchase these at other shops. That's why I would pick these ones to be my favorite items out of this box. I'm just really amazed by the quality of these items. I can't believe they came out of a subscription box. These are amazing. Definitely my two favorites. They had some other really great items as well. But if I could only pick two, one or two items, those would be those items. <laughs> and for third place, can a runner up? I would definitely say this crystal prophecy ball because it is so cool and it's such a nice item to get in a subscription box as well. If I had to pick a least favorite item, I think I would have a couple. I mean, I had a couple favorites, so I guess I'll show you a couple of my least favorites as well. It would be these cards just because I don't know what I'm personally going to use them for. I don't know. I'm not going to display them. I'm not going to use them. So for me, that's why they would be a least favorite item. My next least favorite item is going to be the t-shirt with the convention. I just don't really get where they're going with this theme. I'm sure it has to do with history of magic or divination, but I'm not completely sure where it has to tie in with Harry Potter. So that's why this one would be one of my least favorite items. I think that they're good quality. I think that the artwork on both of these are amazing. So whoever did the artwork, they did a really great job, but I'm just not really understanding why it's Harry Potter. So maybe the spoiler card will give us some clarity. So let's go ahead and read that. But I would say overall, I'm really happy with my box. I would say that the $60 value is a good value for the items that you're getting in this box. All right, so I have the spoiler card here. So let's go ahead and go over this. So for the item number one, the secrets of the centaur divinations, that's the book cover. This book cover was created by Danny at Wizardry Workshop and it fits the sixth American hardback edition of the Harry Potter series. So it fits the half-blood prints. The second item is the crystal ball. The crystal ball shows a glimpse into the future. What does your future hold? Sunshine, happiness, darkness. I wonder if other people got different items inside. So I'm guessing since I got a wolf that it's darkness. So that's sad. <laughs> The next one is this classroom pin. This could possibly be the most boring class at school, but everyone needs to learn their history. Designed by JP Mistlecrow. The next one is this divinations coin. Having some trouble making a tough decision? Give this coin a toss and it will help you on your way. The yes side includes a star that symbolizes good luck and butterflies. 
which symbolizes success and pleasure. The no side depicts an hourglass, which means imminent danger and snakes, which are a bad omen and to take caution. I got no. <laughs> All right, the next item is this t-shirt. So this is the Warlock convention shirt. This shirt was only available at the convention in the 1700s. This shirt was designed for us by Danny at Wizardry Workshop. So I really do like the artwork, so I think Danny did a great job. I just not really understanding the concept still, I guess. Maybe it has to do with the history of magic. Since it's from the 1700s, it must go with the history of magic concept. The next item is the Daydream Potion. This potion is great for escaping one of the most boring classes you will attend. This is the first product you will be receiving from our new Wizard Shins shop for tricks and treats. This was such a great item. Really, really loving that. The next one is a Rose Quartz Chip Pendulum. That's what these are called. I've definitely seen these before. Use this pendulum when back of your spoiler sheet. Oh, use this pendulum on the back of the spoiler sheet to receive some answers that you may have otherwise have trouble devising yourself. So that's cool. So you use this. If you need to make a decision or you need to figure out something, you can use this with this chart to give you an answer. That's pretty cool. So it says it's rose quartz, but I'm not really sure if there's actual rose quartz inside it or if it's just supposed to look like rose quartz, but it definitely feels like a resin material. Next is this tea leaf tea cup. Oh look, you finished your tea. Take a look and see what your future holds. Be sure to spin the cup and decipher what image that you see most clearly. And thank you for taking the blue cup this time. The pink cups are really my favorite. And I knew this blue cup meant something. It's because she tells Neville to take the blue cup over the pink cup because she knew that he would drop it. <laughs> the next one, the inner eye oil. This oil is used to promote self-awareness and emotional healing. It's made with all natural ingredients infused with quartz chips. This was created by us by Alchemy of the Skin. Next, we have Warlock Convention Agenda slash Itinerary. If you're interested in what was covered in the Warlock's Convention, you will find the information here. This agenda was created for us by Danny at Wizardry Workshop. So he did the t-shirt and of course he did the card as well. All right, the last item, item number 11. We had 11 items in this box. That's going to be these cards. So the Green Witch Tarot Card Deck. Tarot cards are used in divination, yet another way to help you divine what your future holds. So yeah, that's definitely what those cards are for. And it says the theme for the next box is going to be defense and alchemy lessons. All right, so that wraps up today's unboxing of the wizarding trunk. What did you guys think of this box? Did you have a favorite item? Did you have some least favorite items? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on your bell notification so you're notified during my next video upload. And thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.